Hey guys, welcome to another a WoW video and another 9.2 campaign video. So this is chapter three. For this one, this is a really cool chapter because this is the chapter that leads you to getting your companion guy, which is like this little robot. So we're going to see some cool stuff in this one, as well as a new system that kind of goes with that robot. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy and uh, let's get started. And yes, I have noticed that the NPC voices seem to be a little on the low side than you usually hear. And I must have turned down the NPCs just a tad too much. And, you know, and game sound up a tad too much. So I will adjust that, but unfortunately, you know, before viewing it, I did record four chapters, so... Um, it will sound like this for the, this one and the next one. Uh, it's not like, you know, it's not like you can't hear him. He's just soft. But I will adjust that for the rest of the chapters that I do for this. Um, yeah, I do. I, I have definitely noticed myself that the, the game sound is definitely a good chunk higher than the... Uh, than the actual talking is. So that will be fixed for chapter 5. What do you mean? Restore how? Work complete. Man, we really need to learn Why that language. <laughs> I hate not knowing what they're saying to him. At least due to his answers and responses, you kind of know what they've said, but, you know, what if he didn't respond at all? You know, or he just said, yeah, I agree, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, yeah, I, I hate not knowing. I've often hated when you go to, like, a restaurant or something. Or you just go out with friends and, like, one person is talking a whole different language. I fucking hate that shit because it's like, yo, know, why even talk if you're gonna talk in a language most people don't even understand? <laughs> you know? So we need to learn this fucking language. Foolish Kyrian. You do not understand what you are meddling with. But she asked for our help. Nonsense. An oracle would never gift her words upon your kind. I speak the truth. Tell them, Mawwalker. Hey, commune. Work and be quiet. Complete. Read what anything interesting lately? Together, we can achieve anything. If you won't help us, what about Fareed? Perhaps you could tell us where he stays? Do not speak of the exile. Man, 
These guys really hate us right now. Jeez. They are not our friends. We're gonna have to work hard to get on their good side. It's like, why did we come here to begin with? Just being bullied over here. See, that's what you get for going to the light side. The dark side is a way more fun. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. The mom might be over there. But at least they like us and respect us at least somewhat over there. Good to see you. There is a long road ahead. Do not worry. I will watch over this oracle while you search. Thank you. Hey there. Stop. Who was that? We should see what this poor soul. Though, what are they holding? A map to Perim's hideout? Let's hope the assassin did not see this. Here is the same as the one that hides Haven. This is surely where we will find Perim. More assassins. Uh, stop wasting my time. Wait, I know you. Yes, my friends from the vestibule. Hello again. Uh, we need your help. My help? You've led the assassins right to me. I'm the one that should be helped. I will glean their secrets. Will I ever truly know We're everything? sorry to have brought trouble to you, but we have found an oracle. <laughs> As if one would ever notice you. I'll believe it when I see it. It's true. Morlock, please help him while I retrieve the Oracle from Haven. What secrets is Aldrin hiding? Oh, 
he has the information we seek. Alfirim. By the first one, it is an oracle. But what has happened to her? We found her under attack. Unfortunately, we were too late to save her. Zarot Mortis holds much to discover. Leave me to my thoughts. Before she fell into this state, she mentioned a cord. Do you know what that could mean? Intriguing. I wonder. Wait here. The core we found earlier. Ah. Ooh, core becomes a bot. So that's our pet that they're talking about there. How fascinating. What a peculiar atoma. Oh, what is this? What is it looking at? This console. I could never get it to work. We'll be returning back to this, so near the end of this video, we'll look at this hey, more in depth. Where are you going? For now, we're just going to finish this chapter off and then we'll look at it. And it's gone. Perhaps in search of more consoles like this one, we should follow it. The wonders of Zarat Mortis. Are endless. There is I always stay here more keep to learn. In case the Oracle wakes up. Be safe. Interesting. It seems to be interpreting the cipher in some way. Some of the words can be clearly understood. How brilliant! We are uncovering new secrets! More knowledge uncovered! I feel we're tantalizingly close to a revelation.
It is trying to find something. We must be close. Yes! Everything is coming together! Come! There is one last place we must go! Our little friend is in danger! Help it! what it does now. The star, the brilliance, the patterns. You see it too? Yes. Come, let us go back to my home. There will be more there. So close to understanding it. Oh, hello. You can never research too much. The mystery of this land away. Look, it wants to show you something at the console. Yay, we get our pet. The fractal focal box. Quite a name, if you want. With it as your companion, the secrets of Zerath Mortis shall unfold before you. You are truly blessed, more Walker. Okay, so just a close up on the pet. He looks not too bad. I like the glow that's going on with him. I think that's really cool. And I guess I should be calling him companion, not a pet. He's not like part of your pet collection or anything. But you, you guys know what I mean. Like, to me, something like this is still a pet. Doesn't matter if it's part of the pet collection or not. If there is anything I can do for you, please let me know. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom in the screen here so that you can see this a little better and we'll go over everything that's in here. Uh, so I'm just going to briefly go through it. So if you want to slow down the video, uh, yeah, you can um, if you're interested in reading through it. And there's some pretty cool things going on with this. And while... I'm just kind of scrolling through all this. I'm going to give you a little bit of extra info that I've learned on this guy before I even did this chapter or even hopped in the PTR. So one thing that I did put in a WoW Weekly, I think it was last week, was the customizations he has. I'm going to link the page for you guys in the description of this video because he has a ton of customizations. And then on top of that, the day I did this video, more stuff got discovered on customizations with him. So on top of the already many customizations he has, there was nine new customizations added in uh, just yesterday. 
and they seem to be, they're more disguises than anything, and they follow themed costumes. So I get the feeling that some of them might take some world events. One is a chef costume, so this could maybe be tied into cooking. The reason I think some might take world events is because another is the lovely disguise kit for him, which kind of implies the Valentine's Day event. But, uh, but yeah, so we don't know really how you obtain them yet, but they are there. And, of course, there is these upgrades that I've been mousing over. So, uh, I know you can't really see my mouse, but you can see that I'm going down the list here. But, um, but yeah, some of them are really good. You will notice that some have huge time frames on them, like this six-day, 18-hour eight, one. So, some do definitely take a little bit of time. Uh, one thing that I discovered just kind of mousing over all this is that this is going to be a grind. Some of these take a lot of currency and also a lot of time before your research is complete. So yeah, I think this, this right here is our, at least one of our big grinds to complete. And I guarantee you there's an achievement for completing it all. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I can't see there not being. And after this part is done, you will actually get your first flight path. And I really do love the look of this flight path. I, yeah, I just love it. I, I like that it opens up like a whole, you know, thing <laughs> to get your flight path there. And yeah, it just looks very cool. It's one thing I have really been liking that Blizzard's been doing lately is they've been getting a little more creative with the flight paths so so that's nice and this thing that you know you turn into or whatever i would love to actually have that as something for the collection yeah even if it's you know a toy that like sends you flying for i don't know 20 seconds or something i just i love the look of that thing Continue to explore this land. Any new information you find may help us turn the tide against the Jailer. So that calls it on this video. So I hope you enjoyed. And I have a really good one coming up next for you, which involves a cinematic. So you may definitely want to check that out. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.